Hi again, it's Mark, and I want to show you a little bit more of the process in creating my comic strip, George. Um, here is the template that I use for drawing the comic strip. Now I start with a clean sheet of paper, and using a desktop publishing program called Scribus, I then print this template out onto this paper. This sheet of paper is 8.5 by 14. Now I'll give you a look at the Scribus uh, desktop publishing program. Here it is. I'm running it on my laptops on the uh, PC Linux OS operating system. And uh, what's nice is, is once I figure out how I want the comic strip to uh, be laid out, whether it's, uh, say, two panels, one panel, three panel, I can just come into this program and then maybe adjust the panel in some way. Uh, say I want to make it like that. Uh, and then insert a new sheet of paper into my uh, inkjet printer, print this out, and then I'm ready to go and draw out the comic strip. All the lines are ruled up, the lines that allow me to rule up my lettering, those are all printed in a, in a non-photo blue quality off, my, off of my desktop printer as well as the logo, the uh, copyright, everything's all ready to do. All I have to do is do the fun part, and that is draw the comic strip. So after I get my uh, template laid out, then I take my non-photo blue pencil, or my 740 and a half, and I can go ahead and start getting sketchy and laying out what I want, doing all my letter on the ruled lines. And after I get all that laid out, then I pull out my Pentel fountain pen. It's very similar to the Tradio. And then I do all my final inking, fill in all the black areas, maybe with a thicker marker. And I do everything in marker because I can go immediately to the scanner then. I don't have to wait for any of the ink to dry. And here is the final result. And let's see, right here. So here is uh, a three panel comic strip that I did. Here's a large one panel comic strip. Uh, here's a two panel comic strip. And again, everything's done in blue and then inked over. Uh, it's very sketchy, then the final inking is done very precisely. I then scan it in as black and white line art. All the blue sketchy lines drop out, and I'm left with a nice, crisp, black and white comic strip that I, that I then distribute to newspapers around the country.